In 2024, the pickleball rulebook is broken. We're going to cover every new rule, why it's broken, and exactly how to use them to your advantage. Stopping a rally after the return now has new consequences. We already know that once a point is started, you can't stop play in the middle of it because you think something is off. For example, if you think the score was called incorrectly, you cannot ask about the score mid-rally. You must point it out before returning the serve. Any time after a return is considered a fault. But be careful asking for a score correction right after the opponent serves. Even if you didn't return the ball yet, your correction must also be right. If you're wrong about the score and the other team did in fact call it correctly, then your interruption is still considered a fault and you lose the point. But if you're right, the point is redone. As of 2024, they've added positioning into this rule, but it works differently. This time, positioning can be pointed out at any time during the rally, even after you return the ball. So for example, if the other team's players started serving on the wrong side of the court, you can point this out after you return the ball and call for the fix. If you're right, then the point is redone. If you were mistaken, you commit a fault and lose the point. So to sum this up, score errors can be pointed out before the return of serve, but positioning errors can be pointed out anytime. So let's have some fun with this. You might as well call the score wrong every time. The worst case scenario is a redo when your opponent catches the error before they return. A neutral scenario is that the point stands if your opponent does not correct you at all. And the best case scenario is your opponent corrects you after they return, which earns you a free point. And with the positioning part, there's a couple other ways to exploit it. One, you could start in the wrong position whenever you want. For example, if one player is stronger with their forehand, they can always have the left side. The worst case scenario is that the other team points it out and asks for a redo. Best case is that they don't even notice. The second way occurs when you notice the other team is in the wrong position. You can point this out at any time, so might as well wait until you're about to lose the point, then interrupt and ask for a redo. Just by knowing these rules, you can go from a 4-0 to a 5-0 in one tournament. <laughs> In 2024, medical timeouts are 15 minutes, whereas regular timeouts are one minute. You typically receive two regular timeouts per match and call them any time between points. New this year is that you can use regular timeouts to extend the duration of your medical timeout to allow more time before the match must be retired. If medical personnel or the tournament director determine that a valid medical condition exists, then believe it or not, you're in luck. The rulebook explicitly states that if medical treatment is rendered off court at another location at the venue, then the time to transport the player to and from that location is not included in your 15 minute timeout. So it might be in your best interest to stop at the concession stand for some popcorn, or even take a quick eight hour power nap on your way to the medical tent. This won't count against your allotted 15 minutes and maybe your opponents will get bored and forfeit the match. In 2023, whenever a ball hit a draping net, it was up to a referee to decide what to do about the situation. It could either be a redo or the point could stand. This year though, when the ball makes contact with the draping net, it's an instant redo. A ref no longer has to decide what to do about the situation, the point is just restarted. We're not sure how to abuse this rule yet, but if you've got ideas, comment below and tell us. Best comment gets the pin of mischief. Here comes our favorite rule change. In 2023, hitting the ball multiple times in one swing was allowed as long as the motion was unintentional and in one direction. A referee would need to determine the intentionality of all carries, which was difficult to judge. This year, they've tried to fix the problem by removing the word deliberately as it pertains to carries. All carries are now faults. However, they left in a fun little section about double hits and even gave us the gift of removing the word unintentional. As of 2024, it is legal to hit an intentional double hit as long as your swing is continuous in one direction. And we have mastered that shot. A double hit allows you to send the ball in an unreadable direction and throw off your opponents. The best way to hit the shot is to make contact with the lower part of your paddle's face first, then follow through with the upper part after the first hit. With some practice, you've now mastered the newest pickleball cheat code. In 2024, they added a whole new way to play pickleball. The rulebook now considers mini singles and approved format. It's played on a standard pickleball court, except there's an additional line added through the center of the non-volley zone. Instead of playing your entire side of the court like normal, half the space is in play as shown here. The court you play on is determined by your current score at all times. When your score is even, you are playing the right court. When your score is odd, you are playing the left court. The rulebook says, because only one of the courts at an end is in play during a rally, the center line of the court, including the portion that extends through the non-volley zone, serves as the outer sideline of the in-play court. Wow, that was a mouthful. That means that for the first time, you can hit an Ernie 
from here. We're not even breaking the rule book here. This shot is just overpowered in many singles, so use it to your advantage. Now you know all the rule changes for 2024. And though it's fun to find loopholes, we don't recommend using these to your advantage during a match. Pickleball is about having fun, not winning at all costs. But if you want to learn how to win your games and keep your morality intact, watch one of our tutorial videos right here and subscribe to our newsletter.